Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot Channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on the way I do, my readings and my approach overall. The reading you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Aries, this is your weekly June 7th through June 13th tarot reading. Let's talk about your work or your business situation first. We've got the Moon, the Queen of Swords and the Empress. You could be dealing with a Pisces or an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I think that um, if you've been kind of feeling depressed, if you've been feeling down or unsure about your work or unsure about your uh, business, if you're on your own business, this week it will turn around. You're probably dealing with this Queen of Swords, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this person is very straightforward, who's been there, who's seen it all, who can smell bullshit from a mile away, and this person will help you out in one way or the other. It could be that you could be uh, partnering up with this person, or it could be um, someone who comes to your rescue, or it could be a new boss, or boss at your current job, or it could be a friend that uh, helps you out. See how the Queen of Swords is extending her hand? So that could be someone who is going to do just that. They will help you out and it will eventually lead to the Empress energy, to um, pure abundance or you thriving pretty much, right? Or it could be you assuming the Queen of Swords energy and you're just cutting people out you can uh, see if they're up to no good, if they no longer serve you. So basically you do, you're do you doing some spring cleanup. It's a little too late in the season, but uh, better late than never. So if you do this kind of a cleanup in your life, in your environment, it will eventually lead to the Empress status again. Um, the abundance, uh, basically um, either you are changing things around or you partner up with somebody or somebody is going to extend a helping hand and help you get there. Aries, if you are in an established love relationship such as marriage or a long-term partnership, this spread is for you. We've got the Nine of Swords, the Five of Swords clarified by the Ten of Wands, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I think I'm connecting with the Aries who just recently broke up with your significant other or had a major fight or a major fallout with your partner and uh, you've been really stressed out about it. You've been feeling like you are, were left out in the cold, it's a huge burden for you, you wake up at night thinking about it. Um, I don't see a particular person involved here, but I'm sure you would know who um, I'm talking about if this is your spread. But the good news is that we have the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is um, a new cycle starting in your life. So I think you'll pull yourself out of this um, hole this week and you'll move on. I don't know if it will be with the, your significant other whom you've uh, had this fallout with. I don't know if you'll be getting back together or moving on from the situation. But you are moving on regardless. The Wheel of Fortune is always, um, rep always represents uh, something starting here. Could be divine timing that you could um, you know, pull yourself back together and move on. Um, you could be going on a trip to um, make yourself feel better. And again, it could be with that same person or you could be going on a trip by yourself. Either way, I think things are about to change for you. Things are about to turn around. The Wheel of Fortune will uh, spin in your favor. And you know, Aries, you are one of the strongest zodiac signs, especially when it comes to personal issues. Uh, so I think you are getting out of that headspace and you are moving forward. Aries, if you are on the quest for new love this week, this part is for you. We've got the Six of Swords, the Lovers, the Page of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. You could be dealing with uh, Gemini. 
and uh, lots of swords guys um, it's all about thoughts most likely in this case and the lovers cards which is a uh, Gemini card is also an air sign it's also all about swords right so this is something very sharp <laughs> that's gonna happen in your life uh, and it's a it's a bit weird for a new love spread uh, but let's take it one card at a time. So we have uh, the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This card represents an abrupt ending. So what I'm thinking here is um, you could be ending something and uh, immediate in immediately moving on to something else or someone else. You could be getting out of one relationship and uh, moving on to something else or someone else like a Gemini. Because the Gemini is the only major arcana here, and the and the only card that represents um, an actual sign. We do have the Six of Swords right in front of the Lovers card, so this is you moving towards that, or this is you leaving something or someone behind, and moving towards the Lovers or the Gemini, or you making a choice. Because the Lovers could be uh, also a choice. You're making a choice to end something to move out of the, some kind of a situation that no longer served you and you're moving towards something else and someone new. The page of swords here is represents um, information or messages so perhaps you um, got a hold of some new information, some crucial information and then finally that broke the camel's back and uh, you decided you've had enough and uh, you are ending something with one person and either like I said starting something new with another person or you're just leaving something behind uh, and the two of swords here is actually the outcome I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be because uh, it's not really clear how this whole um, um, adventure is going to end and the two of swords came out so this is you at the crossroads again and that goes very well along with the lovers cards which is also a crossroads or a choice so I think you are you will make some kind of a choice to leave something behind or someone behind and move towards somebody else, someone new. So take it as resonates. Feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know how this plays out for you. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for your areas this week. Keep in mind it could be somebody from a week ago, two months ago, or a year ago. We've got the Queen of Cups, the uh, Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So, most likely you are dealing with this um, water sign. I'm talking about the Queen of Cups, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or this person is very uh, loving, very emotional, often wears their heart on their sleeve. It could be you assuming the energy of this person for a change. I'm just kidding. Here it is. Um, so either way, you do have somebody coming back from the past um, and they have a very emotional, very loving and genuine offer to uh, bury the hatchet. The Knight of Cups usually represents that. That is someone who is, like I said, genuine. They really do truly love you. And I'm sure they realize their mistakes. Um, they see you as a very independent, very self-sufficient person who uh, just is standing there, who doesn't really need anybody, who is shining, who is uh, enjoying their life. And here they come back. Uh, they want to um, have a commitment with you. I think they are very serious this time around. The Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is all about a very stable, grounded and uh, committed relationship even marriage potentially so um, I think it will still be up to you whether you want to reconcile with this person whether you want to accept this person back into your life but um, rest assured they uh, really do mean it if they say they love you if they say they want to um, come back and uh, commit to you but like I said it will be completely up to you whether you want to rekindle this relationship or not Let's see if anything will surprise you, Aries, this week. We've got the King of Swords, uh, Judgment, the Four of Pentacles clarified by the Two of Swords, and we have the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, 
I think that you will be surprised if you reach out to someone from the past, someone you already know, most likely uh, this air sign, the King of Swords, Gemini Libra Aquarius, and if you offer them to uh, get back together or to reestablish something, they're not going to be open to your offer. They'll be really closed off. I don't see a rejection card, so perhaps they'll um, just say, you know what, we're cool, <laughs> but um, I moved on, or they're not really open to um, reestablish a deep connection with you. I think they're still going to be uh, willing to communicate with you, but uh, they either have their doubts or they're just not really interested anymore. Um, the judgment card represents uh, reconciliation or somebody coming back from the past but since this is a surprise for you then I think this is you taking action towards this king of swords and the action is represented by the knight of cups this is an emotional offer but um, the four of pentacles clarified by the two of swords suggests that they're just not really open to um, re-establishing something with you See, the Four of Pentacles is very similar to the Two of Swords in this particular spread. The Four of Pentacles is somebody holding back and the Two of Swords is somebody who is closed off. Right? So they, these two cards kind of confirm each other. So, um, yeah. And this will surprise you this week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.